Brought to you direct from Studio 3B at Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods, the American Hardwood Advisor is your source for trends, tips, and insights into how the building industry has evolved. Join me, Steve Stack, along with guest builders and industry leaders as we talk shop and go in depth on what it takes to be the best of the best. Dive into topics like architecture, industry trends, project plans, historical tools, tricks of the trade, and life's lessons from more than six decades of experience in the hardwood lumber business. Hey everybody, Steve Stack coming to you from Project Tyan Nesta with uh, American Hardwood Advisor uh, interview podcast with the man that runs these jobs for Renovation Hunters and the Outdoor Channel. Uh, I, I had the pleasure and the privilege to meet uh, Kevin, oh, it's been about five, six months ago out in Nebraska. Kevin, welcome, buddy. Steve, thank you very much. Thank you. What a ride you have given Baird Brothers. You know, it has been, that just undertaking the Renovation Hunters project has been a ride on itself. Uh, and we could not do it without y'all. I mean, you guys have given us, the biggest part of construction, especially right now, is material, quality material. Forget about knowledge of material. That doesn't exist anymore for half, half the companies. And when you guys stepped in, it was like, we got everything. We got everything covered. We, we, have, had, we have had a blast and, and uh, uh, having worked with contractors like yourself, uh, Tarkovich Construction, and and uh, sometimes it just clicks. And I personally, I felt it in Nebraska. Uh, Project Kreitz wasn't quite as involved for Baird, but I really appreciated all the projects that you created down there. Uh, but I had, I, I had the opportunity with yourself and Chris and uh, Hal to visit this project back on May 26th. Mm -hmm. And we walked through it and we just started throwing ideas off each other. Yeah. And we did a little floor plan sketch and we got back, got back home and we spent the next three days on the phone bouncing ideas <laughs> off each other. <laughs> and, and it worked out so well because you knew what we needed. You knew the limitations. Coming out to Nebraska, you know how vigorous the schedule is. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work in a short amount of time. Um, so, you know, the right product for the job is critical. You know, and, and we're fortunate that, that uh, you guys are showcasing four or five different product categories in this, in this uh, Project Tyanesta home. And, and uh, we, we greatly appreciate that. Uh, you do a lot of things in business and you call them partnerships. And this has evolved into a friendship. And, and I think because it's being done right, we try and plan for everything. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys try and plan for everything. But in this particular project, there's been opportunities here locally that presented themselves. And they present themselves because you guys have the right approach. You're doing it for the right reasons. It's putting you in contact with the right people in town. That's, that's it. And you know, that's part of the, the vision is not to just come in and do a project for somebody. Yeah. We want to embrace the, the area, the town, the people in it and cross-reference as much as we can. I mean, we're sourcing stuff from local hardware stores. Yep. We're, we're going to the local restaurants, you know, accommodations and you know, the neighbors just in these builds, I don't care if they're a mile down the road, five miles down the road, they're stopping by, they're offering help. They're excited just as much as we are to do the project. And it just gives you that true community feeling that tends to get lost anymore. Yeah. Um, and you being so close to this project, they know your company already. Yeah. You know, uh, it's like, oh yeah, we service this company. I know we, our cousin works for here, you know, and 
everybody has just said, you know, what a great company to work with. Yeah. So it, we are lucky. No, uh, and and it's it's mutual. I mean, you hope. I like, and I said it earlier earlier this morning to a couple of the guys. I said we left this project on the initial visit, <clears throat> met the family. Uh, the project special. The family is extraordinary, and went back home and started started thinking. And like I say, you and I had conversation and. Uh, all of all of the projects to this point have been special mm -hmm. because we're so close to this one i had i had expectations and i told the guys this morning i said you guys blew it out of the water this is coming together sweet it it is i mean it's you were the, the adamacy you had about hey i have the perfect product for our ceilings i got the perfect product for our exterior knowing that you had the stuff and i'm like hey, roll with it you know you give me this the beautiful doors everything and having it just all mesh and like i said knowing the product line you get so many times where you got a salesman who hey i just started three weeks ago do you know what finger joint stuff is huh yeah just <laughs> clueless they know how to sell something but they don't know what they're selling you got, you know, the ins and outs. You're telling me how it's made, what it is. I think this is going to be better for you in this application. You know, we had uh, the time element. We needed something that is going to go up quick. User friendly. User friendly. Yeah. And on eight days, <laughs> we need as much friendliness as possible. Right. No, I, <laughs> I mean, that's no. Yeah. I, I, I left, I left here back in May. And I think I said it to you guys, you and you and Hal and, and Chris, I says, we can make this a dollhouse. Yeah. A dollhouse cabin, a cabin dollhouse, however you want to say it. And I, I think you guys and, and your your team of makers from around the United States and with your guidance and hey, cracking the whip when you gotta crack the whip, right? Cause time is short. Well, that's <laughs> and you know, you having the knowledge that you do in there. When I fired that, I'm taking your ideas for the build, the product line. And then when I kind of twisted up the layout and everything and fired it back to you and I got your approval on it. I mean, to me that meant, okay, this, this solidifies it because oh. you step in such, I don't call it dangerous territory, but these places are so sentimental to people because you got three generations growing yeah. up here. The cabin has always looked this way. We're going to the cabin. You know it as a child. You're, you're living it now as a senior in some cases. And you don't want to come in and just completely wipe it clean. You want to add to the quaintness of it, the look, and just maximize the potential. I, um, don't, I don't think you've touched the quaintness uh you haven't interrupted any memories but you guys really gave it a super cute face left you know and 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 it goes back to comfort yep you've you've created more space more comfort uh, some stuff that we won't even talk about today but it'll soon be coming out that some of the conveniences and and uh, no, this 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 is this has been this has been a special project for a lot of different reasons. Um, I was I was talking to my better half Lisa this morning, and she says, "Well, now that you're on the third one, she said, which one do you got to go back to?" I said, "All of them. <laughs> they all have their uniqueness." That's that that's true. I mean, the the locations have been unique, the structures have been unique, yep. the the families that we've touched have been unique. Um, you know, and I joking, jokingly, you know, before this, we said changing so much, I wonder if they're going to drive past it <laughs> because they look at it and that would be a compliment. You know, they drive past and go, Oh, look at that place. When did they, you know, yeah. not realize it's theirs. Um, I'm excited. I'm really am. Uh, changed a lot, the facade, uh, but you walk, you walk in there, and it still has its charm, its personality, yeah. 
and and there's a lot of good memories that that this family is is going to continue to make here so well the the kitchen area you know to me is family family time had evolved from the kitchens and i wanted to keep so much of that kitchen original to what it was yep. so we you know keeping the the front window area to me that the most unique kitchen window i've ever seen that cottage window is yep it um, belongs there it belongs there and you know while the 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 cabinetry isn't top of the line or anything fancy it's the cabinetry that they talk about that they had in in this place from day one yep um, and the layout is the same in that kitchen. So they get to come back into these areas and then branch back out into our new spaces. Yep. Well, hey, friend, I have enjoyed it start to finish. Every I know, one of them. I know you've got, I've got, you've got some stuff to get finished up. You've got another couple days that, that uh, you're going you're gonna to have the hammer over you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Tarkovich, job site superintendent, general contractor at large. Uh, follow Kevin at Kevin Tarkovich on Instagram and continue to follow Baird Brothers. We got more great stuff coming at you, bairdbrothers.com, Instagram, Facebook, follow along. This is a great trip. For all you folks listening, thanks for talking shop with Baird Brothers Fine Hardwoods. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to stay up to date with the American Hardwood Advisor Series, give us a like and subscribe. For more tips, projects, and inspiration, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or at BairdBrothers.com. Until next time, 